Hello, my fellow speakers. This is Brian, the speaker for the dead. Here to speak truth to you today, as always. Um, Going to start doing a series of short videos this week while I'm on the road uh, so that I can uh, still stay in touch with everybody but not do a uh, super long video like my last one. Uh, so I'm just going to cover one short topic today. That topic, the casting for the new Little Mermaid live action remake. <laughs> yeah! Last week the news dropped. I'm sure everyone's heard it by now. Um, yeah, they've cast the part of Ariel. And uh, the girl's name is Hallie Bailey. Sounds like a nice name, you know, right? You know, and, and I want to say up front, I have nothing against this girl. I don't know her. Don't know anything about her. Other than she's in some kind of a hip-hop, bebop, uh, duo with some other chick muse. They make some kind of music. I, I have no idea. I've never heard of them. Um, my one issue is this. And this is what's going to make everybody go, Oh, clutch their pearls. Oh, he said it. She's black. Just going to let that hang there for a minute. Just marinate around in it. Little Mermaid is back. No, she's not. That is a Danish written fairy tale. You are taking, and let's use the term the left likes to use on everybody else. You are culturally appropriating a story written by a Danish man. Man, he's a man, I know. Ha, <laughs> evil patriarchy, son of a bleep, 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 bleep. And you're changing the race. You're changing the race of the characters he wrote. Hmm. I guess it's okay as long as you're going from white to black. You know, like what they did to Annie. <laughs> you know what? I listened to a guy called Jericho Green. Really funny. Black conservative guy. Really funny. Swears a little bit, so you got to be prepared for that. Um, but he calls it like he sees it, and I like him because he just just dead straightforward. Man, there's pulling no punches, and and I liked his take on this, and uh, and I've heard this from other videos as well. Why aren't black people offended by this? Why why aren't black people up in arms saying, "Hey, man, that's not our story." Are you, you putting black people in the Little Mermaid? We want our own stories. Let us write our own stories, and then Disney, you can make those. Stop, stop, stop race changing people who were written as white characters and, and giving us their hand me downs, their leftovers. We, we want to write our own characters, and then you make a movie about that. Why, why, why can't we do that? Oh no, no, no! We, we can't be, we can't be doing that. That's crazy talk. We, we gotta get white people's leftovers, hand me downs. We, we gotta be putting their characters. We gotta, we gotta alter their own characters because we're not good enough to have our own movies and our own characters made by Disney. No, nope, we gotta, we gotta take their hand me downs. Why aren't black people saying that? Why aren't they offended by this? You know, because I, I would be. I mean, if they were doing the other, if they were doing this the other way around, swapping out black characters for white people, I'd be like, wait a minute. That's supposed to be a black character, damn it. I, I don't want some white person in that role because it, it wasn't meant to be in that role. You know, it's just, like I said, I'm nothing against this girl. I don't know who she is. But stop.
Stop changing the stories, you freaking fools. Stop trying to retcon history and make, make things uh, something different than they were ever intended to be. Can you do that, Disney? This is just one more poison apple Disney's trying to hand us. This is just one big virtue signal. And I guess this actress, Halle Bailey, has already popped out of the news network calling everybody who doesn't like her casting racist. Hey, stupid, maybe we just don't like you. Maybe we just don't like Disney putting you into a story where you don't belong. Not because you're black, but because you don't fit the character. They have completely changed the storyline to throw your dumb butt in there. Now, I wouldn't have said anything negative about this girl if she hadn't come out and started calling people who don't like what Disney's doing racist. But that's what they do. This is just Disney's big F you to everybody who ever loved anything they've made in the past. They're going back and bested it all up. Because this new phase of Hollywood is just one big vomit fest. SJW, virtue signaling, woman power. Nonsense. Is this third wave feminism this is destroying everything it gets in contact with. It's like the bubonic plague. And all these little SJWs are running around there with rats that are spreading it around everything they every everywhere they go and everything they touch. You know, covered in their little SJW fleas that are carrying the virus. You know, it's just a new form of the black death slowly killing off our culture and everything that we everything that built us up to be what we are we gotta kill the patriarchy yeah I hate to tell you this the patriarchy built this civilization but sure as hell wasn't you it was white guys with visions actually wanted to do something got out there and worked for it now I'm not saying just white guys but that's what that I mean that's their trope it's all white guys of the patriarchy, but white 40-year-olds, which I am a member of. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody who just leaves me alone. Who, who doesn't try and screw up my, the stories I grew up with. Gosh dang. I mean, they're going to have to change the whole story. I mean, Triton's got to be black now. Or, and then the, the Queen of the Sea, which we never saw her in the original movie, but I'm sure they'll put her in because, good lord, we can't just have a dad raising daughters. And if, and if, he, and if there is, they got to make him look like some kind of misogynistic asshole fool. Pardon my French. But that's that's what they're doing. Every dad character, they crap all over him. Because dads are no longer required. Dads are necessary. We don't need dads. I, you do. You really do. That this is one part here, one part female, one part male. They get together and make, you know, duplicates. Because without that, we take one away, guess what? Nothing happens. Nothing. Anyway, stop supporting Disney. That's my that's my that's my crux of this video today. Stop supporting Disney. They're they're ruining it, ruining everything. Everything they touch. They're destroying their old cartoons. They're making these horrible live-action remakes with idiotic characters that, that are, are pale and pathetic in comparison to the ones that actually made those films you know, uh, you know, famous and fantastic. Just let them go. Just let them die. Let, let, them, let them fritter away into nothing. That's what they deserve. Uh, there'll be more videos like this this week. Uh, this is kind of my tribute to How Bad Disney Sucks Week. Because uh, they got a whole, whole raft of crap coming out. And when I say crap, I mean crap. So, it's not like I won't have plenty of material. Uh, Holly Bailey, I wish you all the success in the world, but I ain't going to your movie. Uh, you know, not because you're black. It's because they ruined the story by putting somebody in there who wasn't meant to be in there. I don't, I don't care. You can call me racist. You can call me whatever you want. You're not supposed to be in that story. It wasn't about you. You're, you're culturally appropriating a Danish story. So, I mean, if anything, you and your, the ilk that put you in there, they're the racists. 
because they're they're retconning a white, blue-eyed, redhead girl into a black girl. Excuse me. How many how, how, Hollywood's been doing this a lot? Somebody brought up some meme the other day of how many redheaded, white, blue-eyed people have been have been changed into black people in the in the car from cartoons and in the movies and stuff. The characters are written as, as a redhead. Boop, all of a sudden they're black. You know what? See this? This is red. Now this isn't all red. It's kind of a dirty dishwater blonde red. But I have red hair. Red facial hair. Because I have Danish and uh, other Nordic people's genetic influence in my blood. You're, you're taking away my characters. You're taking away the people I identify with. Where's my representation in your movies? Ah, not important. We gotta get rid of that. Well, congratulations. I ain't going to your movie. And anybody else I can persuade not to go to your movie, I'm gonna do it. Because you, you don't deserve our patronage. Not at all. Not one little bit. You're a bunch of freaking fools and idiots who are listening to 1% or less of the population. There's like 99, 98% of the population. This is normal, average, everyday people who want to live their lives, not have their culture destroyed, and you guys are paying attention to the one, two percent of the population, and these nut jobs and lunatics and loonies and fringe freaks out there. Transgender, gay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the marginalized people. Yeah, now you're marginalized 98% of people. I don't think that's an. I don't think that's an improvement. Just saying. <laughs> you, you suck. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, comment. Let me know what you think about this whole Disney kerfuffle that's that's going on, and what Disney's doing to everything that we love. Everything they get their hands on, they're just tainting it, and destroying it. I mean, look what they've done to Star Wars. <sighs> yeah. Oh well. You know. Hey, America, Western civilization, it's good while it lasted, provided the most prosperous economies and, and, and greatness in, in world history. We gotta get rid of that. We need to go back to the dark ages where people were eating their own poop and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Get out there and enjoy it. Talk to you next time.